viewers welcome to this video lecture series on operating systems today's topic of discussion is on implementing directories so what exactly you need to know under this heading so i'll make it in a very simpler form the contents earlier you have learned about implementing files when you are learning about implementing files what exactly you learned there is the different allocation methods used to store the files on the disk here when you are learning under the heading implementing directories what exactly will be under this heading we all of us know that when we create a directory under that directory we start creating the files so so many files we are creating file 1 file 2 like this so these files gets created under the directory so when you are learning under the heading implementing directories basically you want to know how this information of these files that are created under the directory gets stored so we have two ways in order to store the information in the directory the first method is called as simple directory with fixed size entries the entire topic is like this if you will be learning the different ways in which the contents of the directories are stored so basically you have two methods okay first method is the simple directory with fixed size entries the second method is you are using to store the contents of the directories in a file using the inode data structure this is first part of the video and in the second part of this lecture video if at all you are storing the information about the different files uh, definitely files will have what file names so the second part of this session is what how the system is going to handle long file names because you are going to give what the name to the file if it is a very lengthy file name how the system is going to handle so for this also you have two methods so first method is called as the inline method and the second method is called as the heap method so what is that the entire topic consists of these two methods of storing the file information in directories then these two methods of handling the long file names so let me first start with this the different two ways or two methods wherein you are going to store the information about the files so when i say information about the files we store the file name okay then we store the different attributes of the file and the addresses of the disk blocks where the contents of this files are saved these three pieces of information is required for every file that gets created in the directory so this thing you should be knowing first what is that file name attributes and addresses of the disk block so first method is simple directory with fixed size entries so in this method you are going to store these things file name attributes and addresses for that i have a diagram here so that it is easy for you this is the first method which i am talking about this diagram very simple diagram you can see here in this directory there are four files okay the names of the files are games mail news and work so since this method is called simple directory with fixed size entries here there is some fixed space allocated for each of the entry so you are going to store what the file name and beside to the file name the attributes of that file will get stored similarly here you can see that file name attributes file name attributes file name attributes file name attributes and in the attributes definitely what is that you are going to have you will be having about uh, the information about the name of the file the size of the file the, the date and time of creation of the file the addresses where the contents of the files are saved so here is what the entry will look like this this is the first entry in the directory so this is what is the table that was shown there you have what four entries made okay and for each of these entries you are writing here the file name and the attributes file name and attributes file name attributes so first entry it is here okay entry 1 the file name is games.txt so attributes will be like this owner who is the owner user1 creation time is jan 1st 2024 here here we are showing some few attributes normally we have some more attributes here for every file so the next comes the disk addresses that means the block number 1024 1025 1026 is used here to save the contents of the file which file games.txt this is the first entry similarly here the second entry is what the file name is mail.txt so mail.txt will also have what the attributes owner creation time and the block addresses are here 3024 3025 3026 then we have the entry 3 here you can see the file name news.txt owner creation time and the disk addresses 
entry 4 file name is work.txt so attributes owner creation time and the disk addresses so this is what basically here whatever i have written these things are stored here in this table okay this is the first uh, type of the method wherein you are storing the file information under each directory what will be the second method the second method diagram is here in this method you can see you are not storing the attributes here uh, basically it is a pointer entry here so each of this will take you to some address in the disk where you can find out the attributes of that file and the data of that file that means in this is what this is basically an inode in my previous video also i have shown you about the inode diagram it appears to be like this the first part of the inode will store the attributes of the file then followed by what the, the address of the first disk block the address of the second the address of the third disk block likewise all the addresses will be stored here so this is stored somewhere in the disk and in the directory it is just holding the address where this inode of that file is present similarly for the next file mail we have an inode so it will store the address for that file mail the third file it will store the address the fourth one so here in this method you are not going to store the attributes beside to the file names in this table rather than it will be stored somewhere you are storing the address so these are the two methods so the method names are what first method you call it as what a simple directory method containing fixed size entries the second method you call it as a directory in which each entry just refers to an inode directory with entry referring to inodes is the second method and here you can see this is what you are not storing the attributes in the table next to the file name rather you will have what the directory entry one which will hold the file name but here you can check inode reference is given here 1200 for the second entry inode reference is given as 2402 so it will store like this 1200 2402 then you have what 3400 for the third file 3204 3, 4, 0, 0, 3, 2, 0, 4. so this is the main difference between these two files so when you are uh, having some method there will be some advantage and disadvantage also for a, any of the method which you learn in the first method the advantage is the access to the attributes is very quick because it is present in the same table but one disadvantage is that the space allocated that means it is a fixed entry here so we have to take care about the contents that you need to include here for that particular file name it is a fixed entry whereas in the second method since you are using the address that means say inode reference then what will happen you have enough space in the disk wherein you can include additional information later also for that file so it is not going to affect so that is the main advantage advantage is what definitely you need an, an extra step in order to refer to that inode next comes as i said the second part of the video or the second part of this particular topic is what handling long file names in a directory so you have two methods here the first method is called as the inline method and the second method is called as the in a heap method so these two methods also you can understand very well with the help of this diagram normally this particular method is what how the system is handling the long file names so first one is the first one if you see here in the table the first entry is what the file one entry length will be given file one is the first file so for that file the attributes what is the name of that file p r o g e c t project hyphen b u d g e t so here you can see p r o g e c t project hyphen b u d g e t so th this is how the different characters of the file name gets stored and the end of the file name is indicated like this here in the diagram this is the blank space that is left here because as i said always the data is stored only in terms of what sizes of powers of two the next entry will start from here file to entry file to attributes the second file name is what p e r s o n n e l okay p e r s o n n e l and the end of the file this is next to the third file entry the third file attributes the third file name is f o o so this way in line it is stored and what are its feature what are its advantages and disadvantages first let us see the advantages of this method inline method 
or let us see what exactly is the description for the inline method the directory entry itself contains a space to store the file name directly when a long file name is encountered the directory entry allocates enough space to accommodate it this space allocation is typically fixed or limited now this word you need to remember in this inline method what whatever is a space allocated to store the file name is fixed or it is limited limited to a certain maximum length here the user has to take care that the length of that file name should not exceed the maximum length so there is some maximum length decided for such long file names so beyond that it is it is not going to accept it so this is one disadvantage but the advantage is what it the entries are directly within the directory entry the advantage is what the entries are present very much in the directory entry so that is about the inline method now let us see the in heap method so in heap method let me first show you the diagram look here earlier what is that you had seen file one entry but here it is what pointer to file one's name so you are not going to see immediately in the directory entry the file name rather the address where this particular file name will be present so here it is present why am i taking like this i can show like this also so this is your so it is pointing to the first file name project underscore budget this file name so this is the end of the first file name then here you can immediately start with the second file name so first pointer to the file name then we have the file one attributes fine then comes pointer to the second file name the second file name is starting from here p e r s o n n e l okay here there should be what the end of the file for the second one then we have the file two attribute in the third file pointer to the file name it is here f o o this is the end of the file so in in heap method is not allowing you to store the names of the files directly under the directory entry rather you are going to specify the address where the file names are stored this method will definitely allow us to give long file names also because space is not a constraint here rather it is stored at some place in the disk and the address is mentioned here in the directory entry so this is about the uh, in heap method all the points i have mentioned it here apart from the explanation in the form of notes so it will be helpful for you hope you have understood now the topic implementing directories and if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care